Hello, single Aries. How are you guys? I hope all is well. I am Phoenix Rising. And if you're hearing my voice, you're definitely watching my channel. If you're new, you can click like, subscribe, you can share me. And if you're returning Aries, thank you so much for coming back. I got like 100 subscribers in one day. And if you are one of those people that have subscribed, I really thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, I couldn't make it here without you, right? Um, this is a single Aries read. Um, it's general, so I'll take it as it resonates. It's a timeless read, so whenever you get it, it's when you're supposed to hear it. If it don't apply, I always say let the shit fly. It's a million other readers on YouTube. You ain't got to get upset, get your panties and drawers in no bunch, you know? You don't got to do that. You could just chill out. <laughs> All right, y'all. So, if you get yeah, a personal read, email me. It's in the description box. And to cash, add me a donation. It's also in the description box. Let's jump into your read. Spirit guide, give me messages for my Aries singles. Messages from Spirit, Higher Power Source for my single Aries. Uh-oh. Hold on, y'all. Cars want to start jumping. Let me hold on. <laughs> single Aries. Single Aries spirit guides. All right, let's jump into it. All right, single Aries, let's see what we got. <clears throat> Eight of Wands. This is your Eat Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. Eight is about speed and power. So I feel like somebody's coming in with swift communication, either you or them, someone. You're dealing with single Aries could be coming in with really fast communication or wanting to just talk to you. But they're taking action. This is rushing, taking off. Um, somebody could be infatuated with you or obsessed. But this is definitely somebody trying to sweep somebody off their feet. <clears throat> you got the moon here in reverse with 2 to 4 on the clock by partners pairing. Pa partners decisions and um, pairing. The moon in reverse is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy, right? So, ooh, it's in reverse, so this means some deception is being recognized. Maybe you found out somebody was lying, or they found out maybe you was lying. But that's some um, uh, releasing a fear and unveiling a secret, something that was a secret. Maybe from you or from them. Some self-deception, maybe you are deceiving yourself about something. Okay, it could be something mentally you're deceiving yourself about. It could be a blocked intuition. But this is um, truth and subsiding anxiety, but un unveiling, un unveiling of a secret. Some secret is being unveiled. Something, some shit is coming out that needs to come out that motherfuckers need to know. Because it was a secret. With 3, 2, 1 o'clock, the there's some damn secret going on. The high priestess in reverse. The person involved could have a B or a J, or your name could start with a B or a J. But the high priestess is here in reverse. This is about unwanted, uncontrolled, outburst, sexual desires. Just, ooh, somebody could have a sexual addiction, a sex problem. This is a lack of self-belief. Repressed intuition. Yeah, sexual outbursts. And this is definitely tension, like, yeah. This could be dealing with some type of sexual issue. This is also somebody being fake. With the moon, it's like you got some communication coming in because somebody been lying. But somebody fake as hell, too. With this, that's what you need to see. Yeah, 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 yeah. Got you all upside down with this two of cups. This somebody you fuck with, but they they being lopsided right now. With four to four on the clock. Partners, parent, parent, partners, decisions, um, choices, and pairing. Yeah, this two of cups ain't ain't what to do right now. Okay, this is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Mm hmm. It ain't what to do, do. It's the ending of a partnership or ending of you fucking with somebody. This could be divorce, separation, a loss of a friendship, mainly. 
Um, it could have been a little bullying with words or abuse. You know what I'm saying? This is an imbalance, though. Divorce, separation, breakup, loss of a friend. The ending of some shit. Could have ended. Somebody want to talk, but it could have ended because of the lie. And somebody being fake. Because someone, like, somebody could have left somebody hanging as well. You got the hangman. It's in reverse. This egotistical motherfucker. Pride. You can't tell them nothing. Either you left them hanging or they left you hanging. This is someone that is selfish, egotistical, they arrogant as fuck. And if they don't learn how to sacrifice, they're going to be by their goddamn self. It could be somebody you dating. They they just, yeah. They detach. They, they, it's a, they act like they disinterested. And you stuck in negative patterns with this person. You're not content. It's, you're not content with the situation at all. It's a it's a disattachment. But somebody trying to come in with some communication and make me think they come, come, come they gonna communicate some fucking lies. So be aware of that. Yeah. Mm. The ten of pentacles. Yeah. This is um expect the unexpected. It could have been some money issues with this person. But this is a huge loss. It could be a family feud. That's why I said divorce, breakup unconventional um, way of looking at things. This is cold heartedness and fighting over money. Disputes, negative disputes and being unstable and not balanced the fuck at all. <laughs> not at all. The foundation is fucked up here. Losing every goddamn thing. Somebody thought they lost everything through this divorce, separation. And it's unexpected money issues too for some of you. Somebody could have left you hanging with this unexpected money issues. Some of y'all could just be recently getting out of something. That's why you, um, the, the, the Ten of Pentacles is here. Because some of y'all could have just freshly broke up with somebody. Or you and your two of cups beefing about money. Let's keep going, though. Yeah, somebody is gone, like, in solitude, not talking. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Energy. Somebody is the fuck by themselves. Yep. Force is about stability and security, and that's what you need in your life. Stability and security. But somebody wants to be alone and have some alone time. Either you or them. This is fear. They somebody needs some rest from some anxiety. This is stress and feeling overwhelmed. Needing some solitude, some quiet to regroup. But it's also telling you to have faith. But somebody needs to be alone after all of this shit. Need to just think and be by themselves. Why are people always lying? Why are they always lying? Why are they always lying? <laughs> oh my God, stop the fucking lying. Somebody just lied when we just had that new moon or that full moon too. That's why you got the moon card. Somebody just lied. Why are they always lying? Okay, I'm sorry. Aries. Okay, put the fucking phone down. Too much screen time is making you awkward and sad. Go talk to a live fucking person. That's why you got the commun communication card. Maybe some of y'all ain't talking, but you need to. And somebody do want to talk. If it ain't y'all, somebody want to talk to you. Talk to me, talk to me, talk to me, baby. Come and talk to me. You're the shit. Don't forget. Even through the lies and deception of dating this motherfucker. This motherfucker. Get over yourself. Pull your shit together. Help people. Give back. Do good shit for humanity. Aries. Time to let go. Move the fuck on. 9-11 on the clock with a 9-1-1. Look at that. Mm. Say it's time to let go. Could be for the moment or permanently. You never know. But it's time to get some rest and be by yourself. Oh, this just happened to me earlier. Look at this. Yeah, I'm going to keep going right Because it says somebody needs to fucking apologize. Seriously, just do it. Someone left someone hanging or something. And they just need to fucking apologize. Just fucking do it. It's the right thing to fucking do. Don't believe shitty thoughts that you have. Oh, 
Thoughts can be lying, sneaky bastards. They can. It's the devil's way. It's just the devil's way of trying to fuck with us. Try to get all of your head and stuff, you know? He get the fuck on, though. But I feel like you conflicted with this decision. It is heavy. You feel blinded by it. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, energy. Yeah, some of you are conflicted with this heavy decision. It's a sharp, serious decision because you got the two of swords. You feel conflicted in your head. Some of y'all want to have a truth. It's a difficult decision. It's a painful choice. It's like some of y'all feel like y'all dividing y'all loyalties, harmed, dividing your loyalty. And some of y'all feel torn between two relationships or something. Something about torn. Being torn, maybe the person feel like that. It's like divided or being caught in the middle and being a denial. Yeah. Let's get some messages, um, Aries, from the <laughs> soulmate deck. I drew a blank. I'm sorry, y'all. Some messages for soulmate deck for my single Aries. Spirit guys, Mike Archangel, get messages for my single beautiful Aries. What messages do you have for my Aries? Woo! Healing family issues. It says your love life benefits as you forgive your parents for you or the person you're dating there needs to be some spiritual healing here it's the issues from being a child is coming up in this situation that's why somebody going through separation the time apart from your partner is on the horizon whether it's your little boo dip thing your little dip y'all just be having sex it's, it's time you know y'all can have a homie love a friend but it's some separation going on here because somebody needs to yeah it was a lot of chemistry. That's why I said, and it's so much chemistry. Somebody feeling really sexually frustrated because y'all not fucking. It's a strong magnetic attraction. I feel like somebody ain't having sex like that, and I feel like that's why. Yeah, it's, they want that. They need that. They like, oh, we ain't gonna be fucking. Separation. Fuck you mean. Fuck you mean. This could involve children. Your love life could involve children. This could be your baby daddy, baby mama. Or they could have kids with somebody and that could be an issue. Or you could have kids with somebody and that could be an issue. Or somebody could be pregnant. Hmm. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher commitment. Some of you could want engagement. Even though the Ten of Pentacles is in reverse... The outcome, even though you're single, could have been you wanting to be in a, a monogamous, a mono, you know what I'm trying to say, monogamous relationship with one person. Okay. But it says trust the situation is calling for you to have faith. So just don't necessarily give up on yourself mainly, not the person. Okay, Aries, this has been your love read. Single Aries, click like, subscribe, share me, come back and see me. I'm Phoenix Rising, and I'm so sorry, you guys, two cups, your two of cups is in reverse, but we, we finna get this love thing in order. Make sure you hit um, like, subscribe, share me, so you'll become a part of my collective. So when I do my readings, you guys can tune in, and when I do the collective readings, it'll be for all the Zodiac signs, okay? Love you guys, Aries. Thanks for watching. Till next time, bye.